guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you a few different ways that you can start your sketchbook. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm having another sale in my merch store. Use the code LASTCHANCE for 10% off everything until December 19th. I've also been posting more on my website, which you can find at www.meganweller.org. And yeah, with all that being said, let's just get into the video. So I just started a new sketchbook and you know, skip the first page as you do. Mostly because I had to finish a video and I didn't want the first page to be Christmas themed, but also because the first page of a sketchbook seems to be one of those like sacred things when, you know, it really doesn't have to be. I know that for me, if I get too caught up in making something perfect, I kind of just avoid it altogether. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys a few different ways that you can fill out the first page. When breaking in a new sketchbook, my favorite place to start is the cover. I already decorated this one in my DIY notebook video, so I was able to just jump straight into it. I also like to add pockets to my sketchbooks. If you want to learn how to make this one in the front, make sure to check out my sketchbook makeover video. This time I wanted to add a pocket in the back as well, so I could easily access my marker swatches. I made my pockets out of scrapbook paper, but any type of paper will work. Flip your paper over so that the wrong side's facing up, and trace around about half of a page that you ripped from your sketchbook. To make a pocket that slants up to the right, measure three centimeters from the left of your rectangle and three more centimeters from the bottom. Then, hold your ruler at an angle and draw a line to make the pocket slanted. In the two smaller rectangles, make a mark at one centimeter and two centimeters. Draw lines to connect them. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Cut out your pocket and fold along the lines that you drew. I used a ruler to help me out a little bit. Fold each of the smaller rectangles in, out, and back in again like an accordion. You can cut off any paper that sticks out at the top and cut some off at the bottom corner so that it isn't so bulky. Here's what it should look like when you're done. Attach your pocket to your sketchbook with a bit of glue. I was a little impatient this time, so I used hot glue, but tacky glue or regular Elmer's glue works just as well. Like I said earlier, I'll be using this pocket to store swatch sheets. This is nice because I won't have to hunt for them each time, and I can take them out once I fill up my sketchbook. And you might have noticed this swatch sheet on top, which is the new Ohuhu Skin Tone Brush Marker Set. Ohuhu was super nice and sent these to me, and I'm really excited to try them out. And speaking of drawing people, here's what I did for the actual first page in my sketchbook. I divided the page by drawing a few frames. In the top one, I wrote Sketchbook 3 in sort of a calligraphy font. As you can see, I still need a little bit of practice. Below that, I wrote when I started the sketchbook, which was in November. I've had a few people tell me that I should date the pages in my sketchbook, and you know, you're probably right, I just always forget, but it's okay, there's usually a video or an Instagram picture that can tell me when I drew something. I drew three smaller frames underneath that. In the frame on the right, I wrote my goals for the sketchbook. I've seen other people do this, and I thought it would be a nice thing to add. My goals for this sketchbook are to design more merch, draw more realistic people, and make more original art. Under my first two goals, I do circles that I can fill in, kind of like a checklist. In this sketchbook, I want to make at least three new merch designs and draw at least five realistic people. I'll probably do more, but that's just like a minimum. The third goal was to make more original art. That can have different meanings for everyone, so I tried to clarify what that meant for me in the space below. To the left of that, I did a quick self-portrait. This is another thing that works really well for the first page. I've seen people draw themselves with little, like, welcome to my sketchbook speech bubbles, and I really like that idea as well. In the last frame, I wrote the word create, honestly just because I had extra space. I filled in the frame at the top using some watercolor. I used the wet on wet technique for this which is where you cover the space with clean water and then add watercolor on top. I did the same thing for the frame that says create, but I made it rainbow instead. For my self-portrait, I colored it in using my Ohuhu and Windsor & Newton Pro markers. She blended in with the background a bit too much, so I outlined her with a white gel pen to make her stand out. Which, I guess I could have just made the wall a different color, but this is the actual color of my craft room, which I chose when I was like seven. I added a bit more watercolor to the goals section and filled in the frames with a gold Posca pen. It would have been better to use paint for the background, 
but I guess I was just being lazy, so I used a Posca pen to fill it. So here's how the finished page turned out. I like that it combines a few different ideas, and the frames are a fun thing to do on any page. If you don't feel like actually drawing on the first page, you could always cover it with extra stickers. I thought the inside cover looked a little bit plain, so I added this cat sticker that I ordered on Redbubble. I'm one of those people who love stickers, and I always buy them, but I never seem to use them all. So putting them in a sketchbook is a great way to get some use out of them. At the top of the page, I wrote my name using these sparkly letter stickers that I got at Target after Halloween. And here's how the finished inside cover turned out. It's pretty simple, but I really like how colorful it is. If you're looking for a really easy drawing idea, you can fill a whole page with drawings of some of your favorite art supplies. Now, when I say this was easier, that basically means that I kind of cheated a little bit on this one because I traced the general outlines of each art supply and then just filled in the details. I filled this page with some of my most used art supplies, like my alcohol-based markers, Pentel eraser, Micron pens, colored pencils, Posca pens, and white gel pen. I actually made a video about my favorite art supplies, but if you ever need to find a specific supply, I always link everything in the description. I colored everything in and drew a squiggly line using each supply next to it. Since you can't really swatch an eraser, I colored a section with a pencil and then erased part of it. I did something similar for the white gel pen. I colored the page with a black marker and went over it with the pen so that it would show up. And here's how the finished page turned out. It's definitely not the most original concept, but I really like how it looks. Another classic first page idea is to write down a quote. I did this in my last sketchbook, and it's nice to have something positive to look at each time you open it. For this sketchbook, I chose the quote, work smarter, not harder. And especially this time of year, I always have a lot of extra little obligations that end up taking time away from making videos. I don't know, I've definitely just been feeling like there are not enough hours in the day, and not gonna lie, there are definitely places where I could, you know, use my time a bit more wisely, so I really want to focus on getting things done more efficiently in 2020 so I can make more content for you guys. So if you guys have any tips for me, definitely leave them down below. I am just, it's been a struggle. But anyways, I put the quote on a laptop screen and colored it in with my Ohuhu markers. I tried a new technique for the marble desk. I used a gray Crayola super tip marker to draw the veins in the marble and used a wet paintbrush to soften the lines. This technique will work with any type of water-based markers. Since Crayola markers are water-based, the pigment in the ink will spread out when it gets wet. I went back and drew some of the more prominent veins with my marker to finish it, and painted the background a light purple. So here's how the finished page turned out. I like that it's something different, and I really want to experiment more with the marble technique. And speaking of working smarter and not harder, you might recognize this piece from my last sketchbook. I thought one of these shameless self-promo pages would make a great first page for anyone who shares their art on social media. This idea is pretty self-explanatory. Just draw a simple self-portrait and list your social media handles next to it. This is nice to include in videos, social media banners, or at the end of an Instagram post. It's especially nice to have if you have a few different usernames. I've seen other people put their contact information on the first page as well in case they lose their sketchbook. But honestly, I don't really take this anywhere. It stays in my house, so there's really no need for me to do that. And here's how the finished page turned out, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before, so let's just move on to the last idea. The last idea I have for you guys is to create a list of drawing prompts. If you don't know what to draw, you can just flip back to this page for inspiration. You can come up with your own drawing prompts, or you can find some online. I have a whole playlist of ways to fill your sketchbook videos. The last time I checked, I think I had like 18 on there, which is really excessive, but if you ever need drawing ideas, I got you covered. I've actually had a few people ask me to make like a list of all the sketchbook ideas so that they don't have to go back and watch the videos, so I decided to start writing each idea down in my sketchbook. This is actually the last page in my sketchbook and not the first, but Obviously, it would work for any page. So those were all of the ideas for this video. Let me know which page was your favorite for a shout out in my next video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social medias will be linked down below. 
And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!